My name is Richard Todd. I'm the principal horn of the Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra. I'm a Hollywood recording artist, and I am also the professor of horn at the Frost School of Music at the University of Miami. And I'm here today to discuss Hans Hoyer horns, the horns of my choice and uh, my absolute favorite horn in the world to play and to listen to. That music that you heard at the opening of this was the music, uh, was the horn solo from the opening of Star Trek Into Darkness, a uh, motion picture that came out in 2013. And that was a horn solo that I performed in the movie. I also performed the same solo in the 2009 Star Trek film as well. And in both instances, I performed that solo on this horn. This is the exact horn I used. This is a Hoyer model 6802 and it's nickel silver, and it's one of my absolute favorite horns in the world. Um, it is uh, based on the crispy style of horn, and uh, it is a large bore instrument, and I love to play these instruments because it allows me to play anything that I want, from a long, beautiful, lyrical solo to a uh, very dynamic solo, like, uh, say, the, the unison opening of Tchaikovsky Fort. As you can tell, it has a fantastic sound. It has a very even sound that goes all over the, the range of the instrument. Um, they also come in yellow brass. Uh, the 6802 and the 7802 are basically exactly the same instrument, except for the 7802 has hand-fitted valves and a specially treated bell. There's more artisan workmanship that goes into them, but otherwise, the manufacturing of the instruments are exactly the same. Um, I like them both, I play them both. Um, if I am playing concerto work, I have been uh, very easily comfortable on both of them. And um, these are my everyday kind of driver horns. They're my horns of choice and they're, they're the horns that I will play every day for probably the rest of my life. 